Hello gamers, welcome back to the Star Guardian visual novel. We're going to be finishing off Akali's story in this video. Here we go, Act 3, Forever and Ever, Action. Akali hasn't talked to me since that last time we hung out. I didn't handle that conversation well. If only Lux... No, no, if only I knew the right thing to say to her. But every time I try to get close, I only push her further away. Sorry, we don't open for a... Oh, Kaisa, I haven't seen you in a while. I was starting to get a little worried. Hey, Bill. Don't worry, I'm not here to eat. I thought maybe a collie would be here. Ah, my most frequent customer. I'm gonna be able to renovate my house thanks to that girl's appetite. Yeah. She's already on a 30-second punch card for a free bowl every eight bowls. That's... Uh, it's... Oh, I know this. Uh, a lot of ramen. A lot of ramen. You know, she always finds a way to make me laugh. Your friend is very funny. She talks with you? Oh, sometimes. Other times, she just eats in silence. Tends to be the case with all my customers. But she'll make this funny face when she's slurping noodles. Always cracks me up. I know the one. So focused. Like if she lets a single noodle slip from her mouth. The world will end. Yeah! What, what does she say when you talk? Don't worry, she doesn't spill any of your exciting teenager secrets, whatever they are. Plays a lot of hyper crystal something or other on her phone. She talks a lot about the future, or, hmm, the lack of it. Not as uncommon as you'd think for someone her age. When you're young, you don't have much for reference. One bad thing becomes the only thing, because there's nothing else to compare it to. She's real vague about whatever it is. Not that it's any of my business. Hmm. When did I become a person she couldn't talk to? A traveler carrying five stones shares their weight with the empty-handed man. Bill, you can't keep doing this to me. I have no idea what you're saying. Yeah! <laughs> Teenagers! Your problems are so small, but you think the future of the universe is at stake. We do? Of course. A colleague mentioned you're the leader of your, uh, what was it? Ah, the tennis team. Balancing that with school can't be easy. I never played tennis, but, you know, I assume. On the other hand, I am an old cook with an abundance of time. I am the empty-handed man. Her problems are the... The stones. I get it. And I have my own stones. We all do. You just travel with her down that road. Carry your stones together, and I'm sure she'll come around. Thanks for the weird but helpful metaphor. I will. <sighs> Hey, Kaisa. Stalking me again? Uh, no. I just happened to be walking by. I was joking. Oh, yeah. I know. Seriously, though, how'd you find me? Well, you're not exactly hiding. Also, the guys at the arcade said you th they said you threw a ski ball so hard it broke the machine, and then stormed off to that stupid statue. Threw it overhand, like in the major leagues. <laughs> so what? Am I late for training or something? Sorry, no, nothing like that. We we don't have to talk about Star Guardian stuff if you don't want to. Great. Though, do you think they'll make statues of us one day? You know, if we don't all, uh, die horribly? 
<laughs> if they do, I hope it's one where we shoot water out of our mouths. Ooh, and at night, there's a water show set to music. They can play our theme song, you know, the burning one? Oh, no, I don't know the theme song. You? You, Little Miss Leader, don't know Burning Bright? This is an incredible day. Wow, I am telling the entire squad, non-negotiable. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm scared of falling too. Really? Of course. I think about the invasion all the time. Rakan died right in front of us. Thousands of people lost their lives, and everyone just moved on. I wonder, is that what it'll always be? Losing people we care about forever until we lose each other. Ourselves? It doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem fair. And part of me wishes I could just go back to before. Before all that happened, before Zoe attacked, before we even knew there was such a thing as Star Guardians. When you and I would hang out at the arcade, or listen to music in my bedroom. Or make friendship bracelets. Yeah. Man, they're so janky. So embarrassing. If anyone tries to take mine, I'll kill them. Ha. <laughs> well, uh, no matter what we do, that old life is gone now. But the Kaisa from before, your friend Kaisa, she's not gone. You've been talking to old Bill too much. Did he tell you about the five rocks made of problems or whatever? The problem rocks! I still don't know what he was talking about. Maybe I never will. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny. The danger we face every day, our oath, the darkness. You're right, that is very funny. <laughs> Shut up. It's also overwhelming and when I'm overwhelmed you make a joke yeah a really stupid one like I call a pigeon a sky goblin <laughs> oh what a sky goblin because they gobble treasure and they tell riddles <laughs> Akali what do you think a goblin is I know what a goblin is. Hey, stop laughing. You're gonna, you're gonna make me... <laughs> oh, oh, my sides. <sighs> hey, whatever happens, let's just try to be there for each other, okay? You did promise, after all. You're right, Kali. I did. Friends till the end? Even if that end super turbo sucks? You and me, Kali, until the sucky turbo end. <laughs> Sky goblins. All right, and that wraps up a Kali story. Tune in tomorrow, I'll be posting Kaisas. See you then, gamers. Goodbye.